Hey guys, Dwayne here. I've been wanting to make a video for the past couple of weeks, but whenever I start trying to think about what am I going to talk about, what am I going to show you guys, um, I can't think of anything, and then I get distracted, and then <laughs> no video. <laughs> All right, so I decided to try something new. I'm just going to turn on the camera and start talking and see what happens. All right, I do have a, a couple of topics I want to discuss, and we'll see what else comes up. First thing is, uh, for the past few days, I've seen a homeless guy. I've never seen him before. He's walking up and down the main street, um, pulling a, a small green suitcase on wheels, uh, the cheap Charlie kind you get at Walmart, and carrying a big black trash bag full of I don't know what. Okay. So I see him pretty much every day for the past few days, walking up and down the main street. I don't know where he came from. I don't know what his story is, but uh, I hadn't seen him before. So I don't know. I just I just noticed him. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> then yesterday on my way to work, about uh, 4:45 in the afternoon. I see him in front of the Subway sandwich shop. He's handcuffed. His hands are behind his back. There's two police officers standing near him. Uh, there's his suitcase and his giant trash bag. And I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what he did. Um, but they were taking him away. And it occurred to me, I've heard stories before about homeless people purposely getting themselves arrested so they have a warm place to sleep and three meals a day. So I don't know if that's what happened. <laughs> okay, next topic. I haven't done any more dumpster diving since my last video where I found the ski poles and the cleaver. But I remembered that um, my older brother is a dumpster diver from way back. <laughs> and he actually makes money at it. He, I guess he's selective about the things he finds uh, or the things he brings home. But uh, he goes for collectibles like uh, plates that hang on the wall, um, anything old and antique-y. Uh, old metal lunch boxes like remember back in the day the metal scooby-doo lunch box and all that they had probably hundreds of them uh different types with that little thermos inside um those go for a couple hundred bucks on ebay if it's a popular one in good condition anyway so yeah that's uh that's something to think about um it, kind of <laughs> gives me encouragement <laughs> to <laughs> keep doing it. All right. Um, Halloween is coming up in four days. Uh, it's m next Monday. I work Monday through Friday from 5 p.m. till about 10. So I'll be at work when it gets dark and I won't get home till after the trick-or-treaters. So I won't be able to hand out candy. Um, so, but I was thinking about, uh, some type of costume I could wear at work. Um, most of the people are gone when I start cleaning the building, but some people are still there, um, uh, for an, uh, another hour or two. And, um, they will, they will probably be dressed up. And so I wanted to, to find some type of costume that's not too restrictive because as a janitor I'm always reaching, lifting, uh, cleaning, walking, lots of walking. Um, yeah, so uh, some type of costume that's not too restrictive, not too hot. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, right now I'm thinking about just getting an eye patch <laughs> and calling myself a pirate. <laughs> Maybe make a hat out of paper or something. I don't know. Anyway, just a thought. And uh, speaking of making things out of paper, I have my cell phone and um, 
In the summer, I wear cargo shorts that have a tech pocket. It's got a pocket specifically for the cell phone. In the winter, I wear just regular jeans and there's no tech pocket and it's not comfortable to have the phone in my pocket. So I've been looking at uh, phone holsters or whatever you call them. And I didn't find anything I liked and I didn't like the prices and so I decided to make my own. So here you go. Here is my phone pouch. I made it out of duct tape, obviously, and cardboard from a cereal box and an old padded envelope that I cut down to make it the right size. The phone just slides in. That sticks out a little so it's easy to grab. Yeah, belt loops are paracord. Can you see that? paracord tied in square knots and then I just took cotton string um, to tie up the ends of the paracord so it's not sticking out. Yeah, it looks kind of funky but it works really well. It's padded, it's very secure, the phone's not going to fall out. Um, yeah, so I was pretty proud of myself <laughs> for that. <laughs> Actually, you can make a lot of stuff out of duct tape and cardboard, okay? I, I've i made knife sheaths, um, all sorts of things. So if there's anything you can think of that you want me to make out of duct tape and cardboard, uh, like a how-to tutorial type video, let me know. I might, might make a video and show you all how I do it, okay? Um, the Linux computer my friend Mike gave me for my birthday, at, works great it's really fast it's a really good computer um i gotta say i miss windows i used windows based computers for 20 years and yeah i kind of i kind of miss that linux uh it does what it needs to do but i don't know <laughs> just a, a preference i guess um but anyway uh, it's a great computer, and yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. Basically happy. Uh, two things that I miss are my photo editing program and my video editing program that I used for years and years and years. I miss them, and the Linux equivalents I don't really care for, but what are you going to do? Um, oh, last item, we have a new hater on XDM50. <laughs> He would want me to mention his name. So we'll just call him Numbnuts. Uh, Numbnuts dropped by to insult me. I asked him, what, what is your problem? And he insulted me some more. So I drop kicked him to the curb. Um, yeah, then I checked out his channel. He's got a handful of lame videos and 16 subscribers, so he thinks he's hot poop. And he's not even a kid. He's an adult. Whatever. <laughs> so if you're watching this, Numb Nuts, go ahead and click the thumbs down button, all right? Don't forget. I want you to click that button, all right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm a riot. Okay, that's it for now. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Peace. Out.